about two weeks um, postpartum or gave birth about two weeks ago. She was a stray kitty that showed up um, as a barn cat. Generally, I know we hear you do. Um, generally, we get prolapsorectums because we're straining for something, generally diarrhea. Um, this cat's a barn cat. Mom brought it in. She wasn't really sure what's been going on. So what we're going to do is um, put some sugar on this, which we've already done. Sugar is your friend for these, believe it or not, because this is very edematous and swollen. So the more we can put on there, um, we're going to anesthetize this girl. We want to cake it on there. You can't have too much sugar, um, which will help to pull more of the fluid out. We're putting her under anesthesia to spay her, and then we're going to push this rectum back in and purse strain it. Uh, but the sugar will help to just make it much easier for us to put this back in. We gave her some sedation here a couple minutes ago, so she's going to start getting real sleepy. But this is a great trick to help make this easier to push back in. Ready? Yep. Okay, so we've got her prepped for her spay. I'm going to see if I can gently get this in here. Now. There we go. So it actually will push in there pretty nicely. So sugar is your friend. So now once that's in there too, that will feel much better and that swelling will start to go down. Obviously I'm going to be in her abdomen here in a second so I can take a look, but we're also going to put a purse string in there because if we don't, that will re-prolapse. So we're going to spay her, which is the sterile part, and then I'll put a small purse string in here, but you can see how nicely that went in once we have it lubricated properly and we've got some of the swelling down. So we're going to move her to the OR now. So we've got this girl spayed, um, we put her rectum in. Another little trick I will use is you need something to make sure we've maintained an opening here. So I'm gonna put this TB syringe because we gotta make sure that we've got her butt enough where we can get her to, so she can actually poop, but we don't want her to prolapse her rectum again. So we'll put that in there and then we essentially make a purse string around the entire rectum, which we'll remove here in a week and that will keep this tight so this doesn't push back out. And so I'll usually just try to grab an area here. This butt, butt is a little bit poochy because this obviously was all stretched out from her pushing her, her rectum through. We use some Vicryl here too. You can use a lot of different stuff, but I like Vicryl that way in case I can't get it all out, it will dissolve over time. And then we're just going to go around in a circle. It's pretty easy to put in a purse string. Just kind of go around your you're basically just cinching the butt closed sensitive here. Get a little light. Maybe use a metro for her so you can see the butt. Okay, so you can see now we have this cinched down. We can still get this syringe in and out of her butt. We've got a little tag here so we can trim and remove this later. Um, she can still have a nice uh, poop there, but she shouldn't be able to prolapse her rectum again. So we're going to put her on medicines to treat the diarrhea. She's going to go home and continue to care for her kittens and hopefully she should do really well. So we're about two hours after surgery, maybe a little bit less. She's in here with their babies. Everybody's nursing and getting taken care of. She's feeling good. It's always important to get her taken care of and back to back to being a mom. Yeah, you're a good mommy, huh? She's got a tattoo on there. She's been spayed, so this is her last little litter of kittens, huh? She's a good little mommy.